Hello, my name is Tony Pike and I am the founder of CAT3C. CAT3C is designed to provide supplemental training as you work your way through your ATPL studies. To help you achieve your goal of becoming a professional pilot, CAT3C have developed an invaluable series of unique EASA ATPL exam passbooks, which have been specifically designed for the iPad and are available in the Apple iBook store. The passbooks contain hundreds of exam style questions and are supported by clear in-depth explanations and interactive diagrams. The link to the iBooks can be found on the web page below or at the CAT3C website at the Bookstore tab. Additionally, we currently deliver three-day classroom-based general navigation courses and will also be providing future interactive online training sessions plus a range of pre-recorded video seminars. More information on our online sessions and our three-day UK-based classroom training courses can be found at our website www.cat3c.com But for now, sit back and enjoy this QEV. A polar stereographic chart of the Northern Hemisphere as a grid aligned with the Greenwich Meridian. The grid track equals 344 degrees grid. Calculate the true course measured at west 115 degrees 0 minutes. The optional answers are A 229 degrees true, B 099 degrees true, C 049 degrees true and D 279 degrees true. Again, the easiest way of doing this is to actually start off with a very simple diagram. And all, with all polar stereographic diagrams, we start with a circle. We know this is the northern hemisphere, so we place the north pole in the centre. And the Greenwich meridian runs up the page into the north pole. Remember, all meridians point to north. So this here is west, east, zero, zero, zero degrees. Now the question asks us for the value of the true course measured at west 115 degrees. So if I plot in west 115 degrees as the local meridian, I know that this angle between west east zero and the Greenwich meridian and west 115 is 115 degrees. Now the only other information I have is the grid track, which is 344 degrees grid. What we must remember is that grid tracks are constant. So wherever you measure them, they will be the same angle when measured from grid north. The grid is aligned with the Greenwich meridian. Therefore, the Greenwich meridian becomes the grid datum or reference meridian. All other grid meridians on this chart will be aligned with the grid data meridian. That means they will be parallel to it and they will be pointing in the same direction as it. So if I take the grid meridian from there and move it across to 115 degrees west, it would be parallel to it and pointing in the same direction, which will be identified as grid north. Now that I've got a reference for grid north at this position, I can mark on the grid track of, one, of 344 degrees. So 344 degrees measured in a clockwise direction from grid north, 90 to the east, 180 to the south, 270 to the west, and 344 is going to be pointing up to the northwest, almost as far as grid north. So this angle here is the grid track of 344 degrees grid. But the question is asking me for the true track. And the true track is measured in the same position, but its reference point is not the grid meridian, but rather the true meridian. That's the meridian pointing to North Pole. So if I measure the true track, uh, the, sorry, the track from that position, Again, clockwise, we can see it is considerably smaller than the grid track. So the true track is less 
and the grid track. By what? Well, the value is equal to the change in longitude between the grid data meridian and the local meridian, which is 115 degrees. And that is this angle here, which is 115 degrees, which we refer to as grid convergence. The direction of grid convergence is from grid north to true north at the local meridian. So it's from grid to true, which we can see is to the east. So the actual value is 115 degrees east. If I was to plot this onto Cadbury's Dairy Milk Very Tasty and add onto it CG, I can put my grid track in of 344 degrees grid, add in the convergence of 115 degrees east. East is that direction, which means that's the larger number. The true track will be less than 344 by 115, which gives me 229 degrees true. So the value of the true track equals 344 degrees grid minus 115 degrees equals 229 degrees true.